Okay guys, this is going to be another uh, review on the book Bruce Lee Tournaments and Demonstrations. And this is one of my another one of my um, historical findings within the book. Right here, a lot of people get this confused. All over YouTube you can find this uh, video footage of Bruce Lee uh, doing a demonstration and people are uh, mistaking it as June, one of June Rhee's tournaments in 1968. Well, I can assure you, uh, none of June Rhee's tournaments were held in uh, basketball gymnasiums. They all had stages and they were in the Washington DC area. This is obviously more of a, a high school or college. Okay, if you see the basketball hardwood floor and the bleachers uh, behind Bruce. So if you look at his clothes, he's got the white pants, the white shoes, black shirt, and that 67 haircut. You see him wearing this uh, pair of white pants and white shoes a lot in 67, and that's how his hair looked. Hair was a little longer, similar, but longer in 68. So I'm gonna go and show you guys something real quick here. And he appeared at this demonstration the same time that he was taking the photos for fighting methods in 1967. Bruce Lee didn't um, plan to make the fighting methods book. That came out in 1978, about five years after he passed away. But these were some of the photos taken. As you can see, Bruce has the same shirt, the same pair of pants, the same shoes, and the same haircut. This was taken, um, I would say, within the same exact period we it could be the same day it could be a few days before or after but the same period and it's t totally 1967 so um i'm gonna go to the program and show you guys this 1967 all-star karate championships presented by international karate association may 21st 1967 7 p.m california state college Los Angeles okay so I looked up this uh, college uh, California State College is what it was called then I looked up the uh, college's gymnasium and sure enough it matched up with the one right here in the photos the uh, wood floor the bleachers were the same the top of the wall in the back has the, the stripe on it and there's something else i'm going to show you guys there's a basketball court up here you can see you, bruce comes walking out okay and there's a little uh basketball court right here with the backboard in the rim it, you can barely see it because the photo is so blurry and in, in white but if you see the basketball court this is to the left of the gymnasium and you see the uh the stripes on the wall right here and here that's one of the re one of the ways i figured out uh the location and i already knew the year was 1967 from the very beginning not 1968 it's not june Rhee's um national karate championships and other people were confusing bruce with the white shirt on in 1967 at international karate championships when he was receiving his um uh, uh, guest of honor plaque award that that was all-star karate championships which it's not so we already covered uh bruce getting the uh 1967 uh the award plaque and that was international karate championships 1967 so it's not 1968 june Rees tournament and it's not um, international karate championships this was um grandmaster tak kubota's annual karate um tournament takayuki kuboka Kub kubota and let's see here so here's inside the uh program right here as you can see the demonstrations listed and they're number six bruce lee okay so this program goes with the picture i just showed you in the beginning Here's the cover of the program. Okay, this is the 1967 program. And it goes with this year. Bruce attended this tournament in 1967, 1968, and 1969. 
I don't know about 1966 or 1970, but I do know from from all the uh, photo uh, footage I've seen and photos I've seen, I know that he attended 67, 68, and 69 All Star Karate Championships at California State College. Okay, and the date for this was May 21st, 1967. These were held in May. Um, back then every year and they're still going on today um there's a video on youtube with uh tak kubota uh from 2012 and he's in the same exact building the same gymnasium at california state um college okay so i'm gonna go now and show you guys another photo and this right here me and ludo both agreed on this 1968, you see Bruce's hair? There's Linda, there's Sterling Siliphant, and there's his, his wife at the time. A lot of people are getting that confused with uh, Tiana. That's not Tiana. Um, she came later in the early 70s. Um, so this was in the late 60s, 1968. So if you notice something, besides the floor, the bleachers. I'm gonna go to another photo and I have more of a closer-up shot. You see the bleachers right there? The wood bleachers? These are not there anymore, currently today. But if you look right there, you see the little uh, oval where you, where you, the handle where you pull it out, and then the rivets right here, and the same wood floor. Okay, so I found another tournament in the same building, and I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, this is the same building. Now look at that. See the bleachers on the bottom, little pull-out holes right there? It's this, It's exactly the same, okay? See the, there's one of the rivets right there. But this is this, the, uh, the same um, building, there's Chuck Norris right there. So now I'm gonna go back to that photo that was at, so, I looked at this carefully, okay? The bleachers are gone, but when I was looking up California State um, College All-Star Karate uh, Championships, I found the gym and I noticed that they still have the uh, the wall masked off right here, part of it's uh, one color right here, and then but the letters are not there anymore. But one thing I noticed was that box right there. They have those on, and I'm going to show you guys um, in this uh, video that I have. Let's see here. I had a video on. Let's see where it, where it went. Okay, right here. Now, if you look at the building, okay, Bruce came out from this side. Look behind him on the wall right there. You see the square on the wall? And they still mask it off on the top right there. It's it's overpainted differently. On this side above, later in the video, there's there's a basketball um, backboard that comes down. It's above. Bruce came up from this side back here. And that's how the, the bleachers is the same height, but they're new bleachers. See the little square on the wall right there? Okay. So now I'm going to go back and show you guys. And there it is right there. It's still there. All right. So if you look at the bleachers, they're about the same height as they were back then. But there's new bleachers now. But um, yeah, this one right here is All-Star Karate uh, Championships. The same place, California State College Gymnasium. This is in 1968. So I know you guys have seen that photo already. And let's go to the next uh, photo here. Boom, okay. 1969 now. You see Bruce Lee right here? 
I'll zoom in to show you guys. You see his hair? His hair is longer. 1969, Karima Bar, Dan and Asanto right there. All right, now one thing I want you guys to see, not just the wooden floor, okay? You see the basketball court right here? You see the two lines right here on the wall by the court? Okay, I'm gonna go back and show you guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here's Bruce walking out. Here's here's a basketball court right here. I think the other one, I mean, I think where they were sitting, where there was chairs right here in 1969, okay, and they were looking this way. But if you look right there under the basketball court, the same two lines right here, okay, the rest of the wall. Now it's all painted over, but uh, back then that's how it looked. So yeah, the mystery is solved for this photo, 1967, All-Star Credit Championships, Cal California State College. Okay. And let's go here. Okay, 1968, California State College. Gymnasium, once again, All-Star Karate Championships. And 1969, once again, California State College. Karate, All-Star Karate, uh, karate uh, Championships. Okay, so I don't have the programs for the other two years, but I know the locations that uh, this is definitely the uh, location and the events is All-Star Karate Championships, 1967 through 69. So that solves another mystery, uh, three mysteries right there for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And that's inside the book. And I'm going to do more of these videos and I'll see you guys next time.